Hi everyone, welcome to Train Simulator. Here we are. Good morning, driver. Today you will be taking a five car class 444 to, to Portsmouth Harbour to form the 10 car service to London Waterloo via Guildford. You will need to couple into 444007, currently in Portsmouth Harbour, platform 5. Your first task will be to take your train uh, through the train wash. Okie dokie, that sounds fine. So let's. Um, Start bringing this forward then. This is our train. Four carriages, as you can see. It's, it looks it looks spanky clean to me, but um, apparently we need to stick it in the car wash. So that's fine. We'll stick a bit of light on there. We have a 10 mile an hour speed limit. So let's 7.5, perfect. Just hang it there. Lovely morning, isn't it? Fantastic! Look at that. Massive thirty percent off sale there in uh, in tiles. Fancy that! If you're doing your kitchen up, fantastic. Right, so I'm guessing this is the train wash. Now I've not been through a train wash before, so this should be quite exciting. But you know, what can go? Is that a three? Is that three miles an hour? I think it is. You know, it is three miles an hour. My eyes are not deceiving me. Okay, well, let's. Uh, wow, I thought this was slow. Let's just drop down to three miles an hour then. Goodness me, it doesn't feel like we're moving. There go the cars. Oh, you see the. Oh. The uh, the wash is kicked in. I'm just learning the uh, the camera controls again. Okay, here we go. Maybe we should just uh, <laughs> just as we go through. Lovely. I take it we have to cruise through at really slow miles now until the whole thing is washed. So we're not in use apparently, which makes sense as we have the wash done. Well, we'll just creep through here. Got a 10 mile an hour speed up, up there, which would be absolutely delightful. Oh, this is a slow old affair. Let's just give it a bit of juice. You can go through at three. Let's uh, let's use every piece of speed we have available. I say that two and a half. Slowly coming through. Oh, we have people on there. What are you doing on my train? We're not in service. Ah, oh, well, I guess everyone just wants to have a little bit of a party ride through the uh, the invigoration tunnel or, or the car or the train wash, as we like to call it. We do actually have one of these things in uh, in the, the big Manchester office my company we do have something called the invigoration tunnel which is kind of like a tunnel with lights beaming down on it it's like like a 70s bad 70s disco uh, and it's supposed to invigorate you on your way to work yeah <laughs> yeah now, why did they waste their money on that you ask good question right that has been done um, so we need to go to Portsmouth SS2 which is over here then couple with a few more cars there and pick up passengers. Okay. Right, we can do 10 miles an hour now, so let's. Oh. Let's floor it, kinda. Okay. 
Okay, we could bring it up to 10 miles an hour. That'll do. Nice. Right, we can crack up to 25 miles an hour. I'm going to wait till that bit goes. Because usually it's when you pass the uh, the sign it allows you to go. And sometimes it's it seems it's just the front, but usually it is the whole train. We've got an amber light. And this, will go, this is going to chime off in a second. Amber's okay. Um, let's take it up to 25 miles an hour then. Um, we'll keep an eye on the seagulls, make sure everything's groovy. We've still got an amber light over our uh, track, you know. But we can we can crank it up to 40 miles an hour now, apparently. And oh, then it's going to go down to 25, so... 25 as we go through the junction -y area. We're coming up to Portsmouth and SS2. We've still got an amber signal on our line, unless we are switching lines. Hopefully not, because the others are red. Yeah, I acknowledge that is amber. Squeaky, squeaky, squeak. Start to slow down, we've got a 50 mile an hour thingy up ahead. Okie dokie, and a red, red signal. So let's bring this to a halt. We'll, uh, we'll drive up a little bit. Let's drive up to the light. So we're kind of out of the way. Okay, it's gone amber, so let's um, creep forward. Ramp up the ampage. There we go. It's Portsmouth on SS2. So we're going. We're just rocking through here, I think. So we bring up that. Yeah, we got point. Th oh, please note the approach to platform five. You will need to request permission from the signaller to enter the platform in order to put a couple with 444 007 or 007. Okay. Got an amber light. You can see the uh, the famous Portsmouth sail. Oh, double ambers. Got an amber and a red signal ahead. Okay. And a red light up ahead. Okay. So we're just going to cruise now. We can do 40. Oh, it's gone amber. I was going to say there's no point if we can't go anywhere. Right, so we've got half a mile till Portsmouth Harbour 5. 
groovy. So we're going to keep an eye on the signals and blast our way through there as best we can. Twenty miles an hour. Drive quality was a little bit harsh, but it shouldn't matter because we shouldn't have anyone on this train for heaven's sake. We are not in service, but uh, at red signal ahead. So let's start banking this down, slowing it down, slowing it down. Choo choo, doo. Okay. See the ships now in Portsmouth Harbour, the old sailing ships, the historic dockyard. Right, we're going to have to ask permission to come in here. See, let's just um, slow down. So that could be SS Great Britain. We've got um, obviously. Uh, Victory is in the historic yard as well. Right, uh, signal danger approved. Hang on, request to sig pass signal at danger approved. Okay. That's fine. Good. So we can crack on then. We've received permission, so it should be okay to go in. Can we get a good view of that? Uh, that looks like... I think that's Great Britain. SS Great Britain. It's not the victory, that's for sure. Right, uh, and we need to go and hook up onto these beasties. Okay, I see them. So it's red because there was already these cars in the station. Makes perfect sense. We won't go too fast, we'll just bring it in nice and slow. Slowly, slowly, catchy the monkey. Where's the, um, slow down a bit. Any second now. <laughs> I felt like they were, they were a lot closer. There's Triple Four, 007. Very apt with the latest James Bond movie coming out. Spectre. Whoops, didn't do that. There we go. Now you've coupled with Triple Four Zero Zero Seven. See, he's so secretive they haven't even put it on the code. The train is ready for pickup. Passengers for the peak service to London. Your part in this scenario is over. Oh. Oh, well, that was easy. Well, there we go. We're off to Waterloo by the looks of this. And there's the uh, Portsmouth Harbour. A little pleasure cruise there. And they got the uh, the sail. Oh, God, hang on. I can't get the camera. Um, so, yeah, there's. Uh, I think that's SSS. SS Great Britain. There, uh, yeah. I can't zoom out anymore, but there we go. Maybe that's a better view. Who knows? Well, I'll leave it there, guys. That was just a short... Wow, it said 35 minutes in the uh, how long it'll take. That li is literally taking 15. That's a lot shorter than I imagined it would be. But not to worry. We have done a very dull... I thought there was going to be more. But hey-ho, we've done a quick introduction back onto Train Simulator. It's been a while, so it's nice to be come back. As I said, we'll do some more modern electric trains as well. We'll do some diesels. We'll go back to do some more steam engines as well. Uh, but as it's been about two weeks since I've played it, I just wanted a nice, ease, easy route to get myself in. That was a little bit too easy. But never mind. We have successfully completed it. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.